Hello. Okay, so your two minutes starts. <laughs> Is okay, yeah. Two minutes starts now. Are you attractive? Are you an individual? Are you sociable? Are you zany? <laughs> Do you want to show your intelligence? Then you could be a part of Uncontainable. <laughs> Our group has devised an exciting performance piece based off of the ideas of social media. Instead of the regular performance pieces that either praise or criticize social media, we've identified structural elements that we've abstracted and turned into an entire performance piece. If you'd like to express yourself and move your styles, but also figure out how to interact with other people, you want to be a part of Uncontainable. We're both intimate and roving. We'll be using multiple spaces and multiple performance styles with different types of people. We also have an abundance of Tic Tacs <laughs> and free beverages in the container. We have two heaters and lighting. Mood lighting. And possibly cocaine. <laughs> but you'll have to join to find out. Be the version of yourself you want to be. be or the one you don't um, want to be. <laughs> <laughs> have you been doing? <laughs> Seriously, what we did is exactly what we said, but in a non-campy way. So the group that we got was the um, social media one. And the original ideas was thinking about the types of interaction that you lose with social media. So we were then thinking of, okay, we know all of the types of things that you lose from social media, but what are different ways of interacting that you have with the digital screen that you could then translate into an embodied version. So we're thinking of different ways that you can have selection and how do you sort people into groups and gather people, but also how do you as a performer figure out how to display your individuality in different styles and still have a group performance. It seemed to me like it was very sex orientated. Um, how, how close am I to it? <laughs> <laughs> We haven't tried to do that or talked about that yet, but um, I think we're just doing the idea of presentation at the moment and just making yourself as attractive and as desirable as you want to, and that, that's part of what social media is used for. So making yourself attractive and desirable does have that connotation with it. Um, yeah, and Tinder as well, we've been talking about a lot, so that's kind of got an ulterior motive as well. And if it would help you join our group, you can choose someone to have sex with. <laughs> Don't trust the woman in the green bobbly hat. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> um, so as an artist, I'm really interested in knowing how you're bringing out the skill set of everybody you're working with and what your collaborative process has been to thus far. So in terms of skill set for the entire, I'll move it up. <laughs> so, so in terms of skill set, we have it set up so that for about half of the performance, each person who's part of the group gets to decide what kind of performance art or performance practice they're bringing forth. So if you want to dance for part of it, there's time built in for that. If you want to just have a conversation, there's time built in for that. If you want to like create tableau vivant, you can also do that. Um, for our collaborative process, how we started out was identifying different social media platforms that we wanted to think about. And we just talked about how those social media platforms are used, what types of, what types of gestures they're associated with, um, who's using them, and then we just came up with different keywords. And then as a group, we decided which keywords we thought were most interesting, and then just talked for between 10 to 15 minutes about how do you create a performance piece that incorporates the idea that that keyword is talking about? What is your biggest weakness? Um, the splinters in the container. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know too much about social media. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd feel very valued in the group because you all seem very uh, knowledgeable of social media. 
what would someone who isn't too sure of social media bring? What could they bring? I am not on Facebook anymore. I have been on Facebook. I not on Tinder, not on Instagram, and those were the three that we brainstormed about. And yet I still kind of, it was very, the way it was explained to me was very accessible. And what we're doing, we're not kind of telling anybody what we're presenting. When we present it, we're actually just seeing, okay, so how do we interact on social media? We do this, we present this, this is irrelevant, this has more or less relevance than in real life. This is throw away on social media, where it was, whereas it wouldn't be in real life. So let's use that to improvise with, to abstract from. It's not kind of saying, it's not like you have to understand swiping or liking or anything like that in order to get it, because we're, we're not kind of spoon feeding it, it's just an inspiration. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>